Hello. So, this is World War Chess. I made this in one week in Java. It works pretty much just like chess, but it's kind of like a battle royale. So, every single player will control one set of pieces, and they'll be able to move when it's their turn. And of course, if you try to make an illegal move like that, they'll just yell at you. These maps are procedurally generated, so they work with just about any amount of players. It's not complete yet, though, so I still have to fix it up a bit. And lastly, there are commanders. If all of the commander's kings die, then that team loses, so you have to keep your commander alive. In this game, there is no such thing as check, checkmate, or stalemate, but instead, you just have to kill the person's king. So, I'll just show what happens when you do that real quick. I'd say it's quite satisfying. All of the pieces controlled by that king will be killed. And for now I have this that just is overlaid. So, just because I found it cool. And also you can travel between all the boards, so there's nothing stopping you from just ending up on like a different board away over there and fighting to help someone else. So now I'll go and showcase how I made this game. So the very first thing I did on day one is to pick a game engine. Now there's a lot of good options, like Unity, Unreal Engine, even Godot, some of these other things. So instead of that, I picked JFrame. And JFrame will give you a window, and it says, good luck, do the rest on your own. So, that's what I picked. I don't remember why I did that, but oh well. So once I was ready, I began researching and studying how other people were able to do this. After that, I started. I made a blank window. Then I stole some nice little assets, which I could use. I drew the circle and the square. I, I think they look like shapes. I don't, I don't know about you. Once I got that, I made it the class for pieces, and uh, for boards, and a few hours later, I was finally drawing chess boards. Although, you weren't able to click any of them, so they didn't really do anything. So the first day really just went to drawing everything out, making a camera that can move up, down, left, right, and zoom in and out. And uh, I made a whole ton of mouse controls so that you can move things around, although there's nothing really to check what's a legal move or not. And of course, if you kill the king, then all of the king's pieces die. That was really, this spent, I spent the entire day on this, but it's a, it's a solid start, and it's what I needed to give me hope that I could continue. So day two went to fixing pretty much all of the problems that I had during day one. My code was very slow, and you could not really make any map presets. There was no grid system. You just manually type out where you want the board to go. So this was for stress testing, making the whole game faster. And now I have two map presets. <laughs> so now it will procedurally generate a map. You can put any even amount of numbers between 2 and 100. So I'm just going to pick 100 because it looks cool. You can choose how many commanders there are. There are. I'm going to stay with one. And currently there's two map types. There is diamond and there is hourglass. So I'll show diamond first. It makes a diamond. Not really a big surprise. Each of these boards are white territory. This one is the border. And there is black territory back here. Eventually I might make more board presets, but for now this should be good. And the other type of map is an hourglass. So it's pretty much the diamond, just in reverse. This one might be a little chaotic in the center point here because every single piece will need to be going through this just to get to the other side. So I still haven't tested any of these maps, but I think this one would be chaotic. Now, I still have no real check to see what's a legal move, but I somehow ended up breaking a lot of the systems, and uh, 
I ended up with this, where you could just stack pieces on top of each other. I don't really know how I did this. But I have a feeling something might not be right. Also, if you kill the king, it'll kill all of the players on that board, because it's now tying the player ID to the board ID. So, there's so many bugs, and I have a lot to fix. On day three, I made a new map preset called British Army 1812, and it's just a huge line with the commanders behind it. And I also added a timer, so each player can only move once per turn. The entire team's moves, and then the next entire team moves. I also finally began adding a legal move system. So as you can see, all of the legal moves are highlighted with the circle. However, I still was not able to make it to other boards because now that I have legal moves, they cannot tell where the next board is. So I made pretty much the entire legal system this day, although there's a few things missing, like en passant and castling. I also finally fixed it again, so when you kill the king, it only kills their pieces instead of the whole board. Progress was still going pretty strong, although it was going to take me a lot longer to figure out how to make pieces travel between all of the boards once again. To start off on day 4, I added a countdown, and this will later be used when integrating with multiplayer. Because, fun fact, I have no idea how to make multiplayer yet. But anyway, on this day, I finally made traveling to other boards work. But before I made this, I somehow accidentally created um, Pac-Man within chess. And this was basically, you could move to other boards. You could trick it by putting your horse over here, because it thinks that this is a valid spot, even though it doesn't highlight anything here. I really don't know how this happened, and it only sometimes work, which is a weird thing. But it's a weird math problem. On day 5, I fixed a lot of bugs, and uh, I added these death markers to when you kill a piece. On day 6, I finally made the game look better, because up until this point, I've been focusing pretty much entirely on functionality. So the first thing, I gave everything sound. Just because I was, I was getting tired of the game being silent. And second of all, I changed the background. You might have noticed, I've been using this a little bit in the video. And this is actually just a grid of squares that have been warped by a polar coordinate. So there's actually a really cool swirl just in the middle of nowhere. And it's actually quite fun to explore this map. Now this probably isn't a good thing for trying to concentrate on chess, but it looks cool, so I don't really care that much. I'll, I'll need to add a button to warp you back to the chessboard at some point, but for now, I think I'm quite happy with the game. Also, just for now, I'm going to remove this, but I was just having a little bit of fun with the sound. <laughs> On day 7, I did nothing. I finally was able to relax for a day. Kind of. Well, I made pretty much this whole video on day 7. But that's just because I was lonely and I wanted to share my project with someone. So you guys can see it. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to explain how I was able to do this and maybe how you can do it in the future if you want to as well. The reason I picked JFrame and Java is because I've been working with Minecraft mods a lot recently and Java just has been clicking with me. It's been working for me. And that's kind of one of my morals. You should just work with whatever you're good with and uh, just stay that way. You don't have to be forced into using a language you don't like, 
or something along the lines of that, because in the end, it's all up to you. So for the future of this game, I want to learn how to make multiplayer, so eventually I'll probably come back to this and figure out how to make this its own proper multiplayer game which you can all play. But for now, I'm considering uploading it to Steam, again once I have multiplayer, but I also might donate it to chess.com if I get paid. Um, I don't really know how that would work, but I think it'd be cool if this game could become a game mode on chess.com. Maybe I could work together with them, could help them. If I get credit and paid, then like, I'm happy. They could have it. But I don't really know. For now, this is just my first simple little game I made, which I'd say I'm quite proud of. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe because that would help me out a ton. And also, make sure to check out my Discord server. Maybe if you have any ideas on the game, or just want to get to know me a bit, then I'm online quite often there. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!